mayor of East Haven, Connecticut, was being interviewed, and uh, during the interview, he was asked a question about Latinos. Now, the reason why the reporter asked him a question about Latinos is because in his city, it turns out that police officers were arrested for being... Um, uh, using excessive force against Latinos, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a great question to ask the mayor. Here's what his answer was. What are you doing for the Latino community today? I might have tacos when I go home. I'm not quite sure yet. I have spent two years in Puerto Rico. Um, I will probably do the same thing for the Latino community. You realize that's not really the comment to say right now. But you I might have, have tacos food. tonight. I might have spaghetti tonight. Being in a, of Italian descent, um, I could go out and have, I have had uh, ethnic food, and when you ask me what I was doing for Latinos tonight, I may go out and have a Latino dinner in the Latino community. There's nothing wrong with that, and you can twist it and turn it whichever way the press decides to do. Jeez. That's uh, amazing. <laughs> like, I might have tacos tonight. I might have spaghetti tonight. I've had ethnic food. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you kidding me? Uh, if I want to help the Chinese, maybe I could get some General Chow's chicken. <laughs> okay, did you think about that? This guy's got it all on lockdown. Now, my main question is, was he kidding in the beginning, do you think? No, he was being 100% serious, and he was... That's amazing, that can't be right. He, and, and I think that he was upset that the reporter had the audacity to ask him a follow-up question, which was, you know, it's probably not appropriate to say that right now. I, I like how casual the reporter was, too. He's like, he's like ah. so anyway, what's going on over here, right? <laughs> a anyway, so, of course, it's a perfectly great follow-up question, and then he went into a panic. Then he's like, go on, what, I might have spaghetti, and uh, uh, what, what? It was, it I've was had ethnic there. food. I spent two years in Puerto Rico. Some of my best friends are Latino. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a lot of tacos in Puerto Rico? <laughs> you know, but is it not merciful? He might have a Latino dinner in a Latino community. Oh, well, then that That totally it. changes everything. <laughs> Do you guys think, I want to ask you guys, the, do you think he was joking in the beginning, or do you think he was totally serious? Like, he thinks that, like, helping, having tacos would help <laughs> Latinos. I personally think he was serious. So, yeah, I think he was serious, and when he caught himself, he backpedaled over the top. Uh-huh. So, yeah. JR, serious or no? 100% serious. Wow. Yeah, okay. Unbelievable. So yeah, I'm sure the, the Mexicans at, at Taco Bell... We we'll really appreciate you helping the Latino community. <laughs> so as you can imagine, the Latino community was livid about this, uh, and he was forced to apologize. I want to read you guys' apology. He says, it was stupid, it was insensitive that I gave my detractors a reason to make uh, matters worse with a gotcha and an insensitive and stupid answer to something I should have never said. Yeah, that was a terrible apology. Yeah, yeah uh, it wasn't my fault. It's my critics' fault for doing a gotcha on me. Yeah, no, it's your fault for being a jackass and <laughs> saying you're going to... First of all, apparently you have zero plans to help Latinos. I mean, let's talk about that for a second, right? Because, like, he has never even thought of it to the point where, like, like oh, helping Latinos. I don't know. Tacos? Tacos? I like tacos. Burritos? Empanadas? I don't know. <laughs> I like tacos.